Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to see example two for canonical LR1 collection as well as the table. Welcome again, and uh, here this is the second example of uh, uh, creation of this uh, LR1 parsing table. <laughs> And uh, I have taken the, the the grammar which was not SLR. Okay, I, I I have given this example that this grammar was not SLR, and we will uh, also create the table for it. So this is the grammar, and I'll start uh, creating the collection part. So let's start creating the collection. S dash derive dot s and uh, s derive dot small capital A small a s derive b a c dot s derive dot d c s derive dot b d a and okay so now we are putting a dot and we'll put a dollar over here and this will be all after s nothing is there and no other condition so we'll put dollar in this case the the last is your a derive uh, dot d and that i am including from this place and this is a okay after a the symbol here in this case is a and this will be my first state i0 so this is your i0 and now we'll uh, move this dot shift this dot and uh, we'll we'll create new state and do the closure operation on input s this will be s test derive s dot followed by dollar and this is a i1 state on input capital a uh, this will become okay uh, this will become s derive a dot a followed by dollar and i'll call it as i2 on input b so there are two b's are there be careful and observe huh? you have to be a very observant in this case s derive b dot a c followed by dollar and s derive b dot d a followed by dollar and dot is in front of a so i have to include a derive dot d and i have to put a symbol over here and that symbol will be calculated from this place which is nothing but here is c this is your state i3 now on input uh, b we are done with this on input d this will become s derive d dot c and uh, follow symbol is dollar and a derive d dot follow symbol is a and this state is your i4 state okay let's complete the next level this is complete i2 on input small a this will become s derive a a dot followed by dollar and this is your i5 state on input capital a this will become s derive b a dot c followed by dollar and that state is your i6 on input small d this will become s derive b d dot a followed by dollar a derive d dot followed by c and that state is your i7 state this one is uh, left here is this c and here i can say s derive d c dot followed by dollar and that is my i8 state only thing that is left over here is uh, this one uh, okay there are two states are left so on input small c this will be s derive b a small c dot followed by dollar okay so there is a dollar be careful here okay and that i can call it as i9 and finally on input a it will become s derive 
b d a dot followed by dollar and that state is your item so this is the collection part and uh, is it a conflicting situation so we have to uh, we have to see this conflict there whether there is a conflict or not in the table okay so we have to be we have to see this conflicting situation in the table not here in the collection part so i0 on input s is going to the state i1 okay let me put in a different color let me put in red i0 on input s is going to the state i1 on input a i2 on input b i3 on input d i4 and uh, we are done with i1 on input dollar there is an accept i2 on input a is going to the state i5 i2 on input small a is going to the state i5 this i am talking about let's say i3 on input capital a i6 i3 on input capital a i6 on input d i7 i3 on input d i7 i4 on input c i4 on input c going to the state i8 i5 is a reduced state i'll come back here i6 is a on input c i9 i6 on input small c going to the state i9 i7 on input a small a is going to the state i10 i8 is a reduced state i'll come here i9 is a reduced state i'll come back i10 is a reduced state i'll come back so uh, here there is no reduction i1 i2 i3 i4 there is a reduction so now i4 there is a reduction and reduction let me number it 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so my production number is r5 and uh, here we have to we don't need to calculate we have to put the entry in this whatever the follow symbol so here the follow symbol is a so we'll put this entry in a column so i will put r5 in a column in i4 i4 r5 in a column r5 in a column okay so now uh, i5 is a reduced entry this is the reduced entry and its number is one and we'll put in dollar i5 reduce entry number is one in dollar column so r1 i'll write in dollar column r1 i6 no reduce entry i7 there is a reduce entry and reduce entry is again r5 and that we need to put in which column c column so i'll put r5 in c column r5 c column i8 is a, a state dc dot that number is r3 in dollar column so in dollar column i will write reduce by 3 r3 i9 is a reduce entry bac dot and i'll put in r2 in dollar column r2 in dollar column and finally i10 is a number is 4 and i'll put in this also in dollar column r so as you can now observe this was not slr as i started mentioned here that this state was a problematic state giving you s r conflict but here if i consider follow set at the instance no problem is it is causing here that on you know, different symbol a reduction c shift in i7 also this state also is a problematic state in case of slr but here no issue on a shift and on put c there is a reduction okay so this grammar was not clr but i can say that this grammar is clr or i can say lr1 okay so this is the another example of the grammar which is in uh, which is resolved by this uh, by this considering clr or lr1 so now we can say that uh, there is a language which is recognized by 
recognized by CLR but not SLR. So I can comment here that CLR is what is more powerful. Okay, it's more powerful than SLR, right? And I'd ask you to comment about the capacity of SLR and LR0. So SLR is more powerful more powerful than L R zero. Okay, so some issues are there L R zero. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you.